Hello, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel. First things first, if you're new here, please subscribe. You don't have to, of course, but it would help me out a huge deal if you really, really could. It would really help me out in where I want to try and be. Okay, so today we are talking about a passion of mine, which is all things skincare and really giving you your confidence. How many of us have suffered with really, really sensitive skin? Now, I'm talking about guy skin. Now, very often with what we do every day with shaving and could be possibly the conditions you work in, could be something to do with perhaps health, what you're going through at the moment, could be one of many different things why you could suffer with sensitive skin. But I know for sure that if you suffer with sensitive skin, if you have a really, really bad day, where, for example, around your, your neck area is really agitating or it's uncomfortable or the nape of your neck is really hurting you or, or discomfort for it could be I know I've had it when I've had a, a recent haircut before um, that can sometimes exacerbate the sort of the sides of my neck all around um, here and I know from daily shaving can be just really quite horrible sometimes if you haven't got the right products I also know that even just working in an office environment with a lot of air conditioning constantly while we're in the summer season at the moment um, that can really take a toll on your skin it really can and then of course reverse it in the winter with the central heating being on that can also have an effect on your skin if you've got oily skin combination skin it doesn't necessarily mean to say that you'll always have sensitive skin but it can actually mean that you can be more susceptible to getting sensitive flare-ups so it's really important in choosing the right products for your skin now today we're going to be talking about a brand which i absolutely love which is nivea for men now i've been brought up with nivea uh, products and they are a product range which which I absolutely love. They're very, very dear to my heart, and they just keep throwing these incredible products out, these incredible ranges, which I absolutely love. So many of their products I really, really love. And um, today we're going to be talking about their sensitive range. Okay, so this is relatively new. Okay, now price wise, it's around about the £9 mark. Now they do some shaving products, but today we are only looking at the face cream and the face wash. Now this is a face and beard wash. So we're going to be covering that a little bit as well. So if you've got stubble or if you grow like a short sort of uh, groomed beard, then this is going to be really great for you as well uh, because I actually shave with this as well. Um, it's really nice. It's really, really fantastic and great for sensitive skin and it looks after it kind of closes the, the skin skin down and really nourishes the skin after shaving as well so it's really nice and then over the top of the cream it is quite a treat to use I have to admit especially in regards to shaving if that is your sort of uh, troubled area in terms of sensitivity or if it really does give you quite a nasty sort of experience on a day-to-day -day basis. Now of course having said that that you can have sensitive skin one minute then you can have a completely different type of skin the next which is being oily now of course that sounds crazy our skin never ever changes but however the requirements of our skin changes often. So, for example, for me, I can have dry skin at one point. I can have really sensitive skin. Then the, in the next couple of months, I can have oily skin. It really does depend on what we're doing, where we are, and, of course, what we're going through right now. So, let's have a look at what your morning routine would be. So, I always say for fantastic skincare, um, find yourself a routine. Now, that can just be as simple as just a cleanser, but if you're going to um, really kind of want to get it from all angles you're going to want to have a good cleanser and you want to have a good moisturizer and if you can throw a shaving product in there as well for example a good cleanser and then uh, a shaving product then for when you go in to do your shaving uh, and then your face cream to close everything down to turn everything down to look after everything that's my routine i do that every morning it is nivea products i don't use the uh shaving product from this i actually all use it from here uh, but however i do use an ultra sensitive uh, nivea shaving foam um every now and again but that's one of the traditional sort of air pump ones in one of the cans um but we're not going to be covering that today so this is a range i absolutely love so price wise let's have a look at the moisturizer uh, so moisturizer we have got 75 mils in here i've been using this on and off for a couple of weeks i actually left the box at home but kept the box for when we done the review on my channel and took this on holiday a really lovely moisturizer we're going to talk about that in just a moment and the facial wash this is lasted and lasted me use about half a pump of this just in literally wet hands wet your face first of all and then just really take your time just to massage your face and it really does sort of awaken uh 
um, awaken the skin, really kind of energizing, but yet it's soft. It's very, very natural. You can tell straight away there's not a lot of stripping products in there as well. So if you have got dry skin, if you have got sensitive skin, this is going to really look after your skin as well. And I really, really like this. So when it's not on offer, it's around the £9 mark. And I always buy my products from uh, mostly Boots here in the UK. But of course, you can get this online as well. It's around that price, £8, £9. Um, I have seen it a little bit more expensive and I have seen it a little bit more cheaper than that. At the moment of Boots here in the UK, it is half price. So really great buy and it does last and last. So let's talk about what your first product would be in your routine for your skin regime. So you wake up first thing in the morning, after of course you've done everything else, and you want to start looking after your face, take just half a pump of this on freshly cleansed uh, skin on your face, of course, and then literally just take a moment just to really exfoliate in a real, and this of course it's got, it's not an exfoliator, however I use that word because it opens the pores, it really kind of just removes everything you kind of don't want, that sort of product from perhaps what you put on the night before, um, you were sort of nighttime sort of looking after your skincare regime, you want to start to get those, um, the, the cells open from when you start to, um, when you start to do your shaving routine after this, so it's really, really great for that. So I always use warm water, and then at the end to close everything down, I always use cold water. Um, now, the reason being for this is because the, the warm water opens the pores, and it really kind of softens if you've got any stubble or anything like that at all, so this is really, really great. It's only actually got 10 ingredients in here. Um, now, to list them through, okay, um, give me, because some of them are a little bit sciencey to read all the way out, um, but we will... Now, I have them just a moment ago, and can you credit it? I can't find it. Here we go. So, 10 ingredients. So, and that's what this whole range is. So, Sensitive Pro, Minimalist, okay, face and beard wash, only 10 essential ingredients. So, you've got the 10 here, and you've got the 10 on the cream there. Uh, probably, I should have said that first of all. Um, but the 10 ingredients we've got here are, we've got water, we've got number two, we've got quite a long word ending in butane, which I know is like an alcohol ingredient, which is quite surprising. I know I've got a lateral glycide in here, I've got a glycerin in here, I've got a um, another science ingredient, which again I think is an, uh, an alcohol to try the ingredients. Um, I've got a sodium chloride in here, I've got a citric acid in here, uh, there is a sodium benzoate in here, another science ingredient, and then there is a perfume in here too. Um, so some of those ingredients did surprise me when I first read them, because I thought for sensitive skin, there's some ingredients in there, especially some of the alcohol deprived ingredients. Um, if you had ultra sensitive skin, I would wonder if they would really start to affect your skin after a while. But for me, they haven't done, they are really soothing. Um, and I always know whether or not a sensitive product is going to work for me because number one, I can use it every single day and it's still delivering for me. And this does. So when I say that, I mean that every day when I use it, my skin still feels comfortable. It still feels really, really nourished, really, really looked after. And I can go ahead and shape with it. So even those, those ingredients surprise me a little bit. Um, I do find it really sensitive. I do find it really soft on my skin to use. And I would certainly say it is a sensitive uh, product to use. Now, I know that sounds really, really bizarre, but sometimes it says a sensitive product and you use it on sensitive skin. No way is it a sensitive one. This certainly is. So for men's skin, it's really, really nice. And it's got like an aftershave smell about it as well, which again, for sensitive skin really surprises me because I know a lot of fragrances and products can agitate people's skin. Um, particularly men's skin, which of course with daily shaving one thing or another, that can really give you sensitive skin, even if you've never suffered with sort of problematic skin at all. I know if you use a certain type of razor, if you're anything like me, then that could really give you a real sensitive kind of horrible uncomfortableness in your skin. Um, so for me, it's a great product and it absolutely delivers on all fronts. So I always cleanse with this. I always use warm water first of all, cleanse with this, and I use a little bit more again. Then I do my shaving, okay? And then I wash everything off with cold water because that closes all the pores down. That kind of, we've opened it up. Um, let's just speak with the warm water with the cleanser. Then we've, we've closed it back down after shaving. And then what I go in with this one. So I don't need to worry about the shaving product because this is my shaving product in here as well. It's not sold for that reason, but I always have done that, and um, for me, it works wonders, it's really comfortable, it's really soothing on my skin, and then I close everything down with this moisturizer, so in here, the ingredients, 10 ingredients in here, is water, we've got a product called here, Capria, Caprilic, couldn't tell you what that is, um, we've got an alcohol dentine, which I know sometimes is not very good for sensitive skin with people who've got really sensitive skin. So again, it's a little bit surprising. We've got glycerin in here. We've got tapioca starch in here. We've got another alcohol derived ingredient in here. We've got a glycerin in here, sterinate in here. We've got um, 
another sciencey word gum in here. Um, then we've got another, I believe, alcohol detrived ingredient in here. And then we have got a perfume in here as well. So it is a bit surprising, I have to admit, with some of the ingredients in here, but it says only 10 essential ingredients working together to moisturise and soothe your skin. And it's everything you need for a groomed look and skin comfort. So for me, trust Nivea, I would absolutely trust Nivea with my life. Nivea for men are products which I've used and used and used, and they really do look after my skin. Um, a lot of people ask me about my skin regime and... Um, and have complimented me on how clear my skin looks. Um, my skin, to be honest, it's always pretty much down to Nivea. I do review skincare products, but my go-to products are Nivea for men. Um, absolutely are. And there is another sensitive face uh, face wash, um, which I use from Nivea as well. But at the moment, I'm using this one. Um, not every day, um, but this one I absolutely love. And as I say, I love the convenience of it for being able to use it as a shaving product as well. And the smell is just absolutely amazing. And as I say, I took this on a recent holiday and it's just amazing. Now, it does say here it's for a beard wash as well. Um, of course, I shave every day, so I don't really get any uh, sort of any facial hair or anything like that at all. But of course, when it comes through, this really does soften uh, s sort of stubborn sort of uh, facial hair coming through as well. So a really great product. It really delivers. It helps you with a bit of a glide for when you shave as well. And for me, this area here is always my sort of sensitive area. I'm really, really uncomfortable, especially after shaving. Um, but I can just get a sensitive skin just because of different medications I've taken in the past, um, just because of Sometimes if I get quite stressed, I get sensitive sort of patches here. Um, and for me, at the back of my ears through wearing hearing aids, and sometimes at the back of my neck after haircuts, because I have quite a short grade. So this, I've used this, and it's just absolutely brilliant. Um, it really, really delivers. It's a, Forgive me with the lighting here, you can't really see, but of course you've got the 10 there for the only 10 essential ingredients. Now, of course, there are a few alcohol sort of detrived ingredients in here. I wouldn't say that it's a negative. Um, it is a little bit surprising, but... I trust the range. Um, as I say in here, it's only 10 essential ingredients working together to moisturize and soothe your skin. I like how transparent they are because they list the ingredients in here as well. The only downside I would say about this product is if you use it a little bit too much, it goes a little bit too matte because it's not a shiny moisturizer. It is very mattifying. Um, and if you use it a little bit too much, I find that it can go a little bit chalky just under the eyes here. So for example, if you smile, it can always exacerbate. If you were sort of concerned with aging skin or if you had um, some sort of areas of your skin which you didn't particularly like, possibly frown lines um, or under the eye area, um, then this may, my only sort of thoughts out there may exacerbate that a little bit. But for me, it's really soothing. It's really comfortable. It's got an amazing smell. It's the same smell as the facial wash. It's really convenient. It's a really nice, soothing, comfortable range, which really looks after your skin. This hasn't made me uncomfortable. It's not made me come out in a rash. I know I've used some facial uh, washes before, some really quite expensive ones, and some moisturizers as well, which stay quite greasy on the face, which I absolutely detest. And then you go out about your day and you put it on first thing in the morning when you, you've got up and you've got yourself ready at like half five, six o'clock. And then three o'clock in the afternoon, it's still shiny and almost looks cakey on your face. I cannot abide that. This is nothing like this at all. Literally about 20 minutes later, you wouldn't even know that you've applied a product. It just looks healthy. It looks energized. But I say, if you use it a little bit too much, it can go a little bit sort of mattified and almost a little bit like chalky on this skin. Um, so as I said, if you did have a aging skin or if you did have a few fine lines and wrinkles, um, then and this would possibly make the issue a little bit worse. But it really is a personal experience. It is a personal journey and what works well for you. For me, Nivea Men works really incredibly well. It's very soothing on the skin. I would absolutely wholeheartedly recommend them. Um, and I think for most men, they'd be really, really good as well. Um, of course, if you've got combination skin, perhaps your skin isn't sensitive all the time. This would just be great for just normal skin. If you're just looking for a great cleanser and you can shave with it as well, like me, then fantastic. If you think, oh my God, what's he saying? You cannot use a cleanser to shave with. Not a problem. There's a shaving product. I imagine it's just as good as the moisturizer and the cleansing one is here, is here too. Um, but do what works for you, I always say. Um, none of us are the same, um, but what we all have in common is great skincare gives us confidence. And of course, then if we feel comfortable ourselves, then we're going to be the most confident selves walk walking forward. So great skincare has a huge potential. It has a huge power over us all making us feel confident, making us feel happy inside and making us look and feel the very best to ready to take on the world. And that's what I love. And that's why I have such a passion for good skincare. Now, often I talk about products for men and women. Now, this is a range for men. But you know what? If you wanted to, 
whatever. You could even give this a try because it is that good. I wouldn't say that you couldn't. It's, of course, sold for men, but, you know, I've had comments before um, with different products and things which have been aimed at men with um, people asking, could could a lady use this? Or could somebody use this? Or asking for themselves. Um, and even men's hair products as well. I've had that as well um, with different uh, ladies asking about that too. Um, yeah, so this is a really great product range, which I love and I would wholeheartedly recommend. Um, and yeah, can't sing its praises enough. It's a great price, particularly when it's on offer too. I love the transparency of the ingredients. It delivers on all fronts. Um, and yeah, it makes me feel comfortable in my skin, makes my skin feel great, look good. And yeah, I'm ready for anything with this type of product. Um, and I say that because with some products, you would then shy away from if you were sort of if you were going, um, uh, let's say, for example, you were taking pictures, you're going out uh, for an evening or anything like that at all. There are some products which I could list. If you were going to take a picture, if you didn't want the sheen beaming off you, then you'd stay away from them. This is not one of them. So that's when I say that I would be ready for anything with this because it just gives you so much confidence when your skin looks great, when you feel comfortable in your own skin. And yeah, this delivers on all fronts. So from that I absolutely love the range. I would wholeheartedly recommend it. As ever, if you do want to ask me any questions at all, please leave them down below. I do my utmost best to get back to you as quickly as possible. And until next time, I'll be seeing you then. Bye for now. God bless and take great care. Bye for now.